Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're gonna react to Indian street food $100 challenge in Mumbai. Best street food in Mumbai. Uh, so we are very curious to see this video. It's about food, of course, and we love food. <laughs> it's about India and we love India too. So it put together two things we actually like a lot. Yes. Uh, so I don't know what exactly is the challenge. I don't know if uh, they have to eat something. I don't know if they have to eat a hundred dollar meal as in street food, mm, but yeah. that's, I don't think that's possible in, the, in one day. <laughs> yeah. street, food is tr street food is usually very cheap. So yeah, yeah let's see what the yeah. challenge is. <laughs> so let's jump right. Here it is, the monstrosity, the Hulk, weighing wow. in at one kilogram. <laughs> this thing is gigantic. Well, let's try it out. It's my god, it's huge. Yes, it's huge. Okay, so the this is the guy. The $100 street food challenge has been a huge hit around the globe. In Korea, we tried luxurious lobster tail covered in molten wow. cheese for $15. In Japan, I took down an ice cream cone covered in real gold. $10. <laughs> oh my god. $10? <laughs> Now we're in Mumbai, <laughs> you can and I'm challenging the myself to spend $100 on street food in a single day. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, single yeah. day. Yeah. So will I be victorious? This is 15 bucks. We only need to spend like 85 more dollars today. Or will I look like a fool? <laughs> I think people saw the title and they're like, how are you going to pull this off? <laughs> yeah. I'm joined by a local <laughs> foodie expert, <laughs> Natasha of Curly Tails, and she knows her stuff. Can That's you imagine if he does city. that in you South East Asia where you eat for like 50 cents? Yeah, one hour. <laughs> living the one city, and you barely see the disparity. Everybody comes to eat that street food. So hit the Stairmaster and prepare your deli belly. Today we're eating big in Mumbai, India. Wow. I think he's gonna try to find the more expensive food. Yeah, <laughs> I would do that. It's like, oh, it costs uh, 5 euro. Oh no, please, let's make it 10. <laughs> I'll give you a tip. I'm gonna tip you. Stop one, the dancing dabeli. In order to entice patrons and get some attention for his sandwiches, this man dances or, um... <laughs> yeah, that's dancing, right? <laughs> hey! 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 Is he yelling at me? No. Okay, did I know? <laughs> India is the best, that kind of thing. Hey! What do we have right here? Right here, you have the amazing dancing dabeli. Now, a dabeli is found all over Mumbai, but this dabeli is special. They're putting like a uh, incense underneath? Actually, to keep away everything and for the oh, effect. Oh, oh. 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 And with uh, pom effect. We're in a Bollywood movie right now, aren't we? We are. Oh, it's happening. He's got the bread. He dramatically <laughs> rips them apart. <laughs> Which one? It's not actually it's like a guy. rapper. I think he might cut himself at some no, point. Don't think so. Now he's ready. No. We've got a bun. Sweet chutney, garlic chutney, potato mix, onions, peanuts, and now he's just going to fry them in butter. Oh man. Well done. Come it on, looks people. Good to me. I don't know, but it okay, weirdly it looks good to me. Yeah. I would totally eat that. I've just got like a no. little salsa of like peanut, onion, and garlic chutney. Same. Oh yeah, mung flour oh. shavings. Pomegranate. Pomegranate. Ah, the bun Pomegranate. here is super toasty. Crunchy. Let's just jump into it. Dip it into that stuff. I'd eat that. Mm. Oh. Yeah? Did you even My, get any? What's... Hold on. Compare those bites. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> it's too intense, which is nice. The peanut. I love peanut in a sandwich. It's like extra, extra yeah. chunky peanut butter in there. And it's toasty peanuts, right? It's not just like. Right. Yeah. Everything that fell out, I'm going to scoop it up like a nacho chip. That is. <laughs> How much was it for that? Mm -hmm. yeah, Very I, nice buttery, I, I crunchy bun on you the say. outside. Full of dynamic flavors. It's a little bit spicy too. Yeah, fine, it's spicy. Yeah. Wait, this is $15, you said? 15 this bucks? is 15 rupees. Wow, 15. Oh. Way lesser than ah. <gasps> 20 <laughs> no. I'll tell you, I'm up for the challenge. Okay, this is gonna be fun. No, you can't How can I eat $100 one day? It's impossible. When, she, when they said $15, I'm like, okay, well, but it's like if that is 22 cents and it looks like filling, yes. <laughs> so. Right here, I think it's a big lentil fluff, like fluffy lentil mashed potatoes. So it's actually gram fluff. This is one of the most hot selling dishes here and it's called hamuni. Hamuni? Yes. And you also get to eat that with green chilies. Do you think you can do that? I can, yeah. I can. Can we pretend? Like, I'll take a bite and spit it out, and then, like, we'll edit it mm -hmm. so it looks like I ate it. Is that okay? <laughs> okay. 
So right now, he's put some of the fluff on the plate, shaved graham flour on top of that. I don't understand what that coriander, is. A big is handful of onion, rice? a couple of hot chilies, and then some little... Rice. Yes, yeah, the, it's rice on top, but and I don't understand what... Meat. It looked like so polenta to us, like uh, mice uh, cream. It's called in yeah. India. Wait, I thought jugard just meant, like, make it this work. This is a really yeah, big that's dish. That's exactly what it is. We're making it that tough. looks like cool. We're not using plastic. All right, let's do it. So I'm going to curve it a little bit. Let's try it out. Oh, that's what... Okay. Oh, they are eating with a curry. Oh, no. Yeah. It's amazing, isn't it? Mmm. It's a little sweet, a little salty. <laughs> <laughs> it's very fresh. And then the onion is a nice texture, a little okay. bit crunchy onion texture. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Mm. That's not rice. I love it. It's very simple and very delicious. And honestly, why would you mess it up by eating chilies? You don't have to. <laughs> so it's fried, okay? It's not like as intense as it would be. It's don't fried. Don't believe it. Don't listen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take a bite. I'm going to take a bite. You're not gonna? No, what it's too spicy for me. She wants to do this tutorial and then she's like, but I'm not gonna. Okay, here right, we go. One, one. two. Huh. Oh, it's not that bad. Mm -mm. Yeah. I even do the chili thing. bite, yeah, yeah. but the dish chili doesn't flavor. I love look it. like the taste. India has some of the most affordable street food yeah. of anywhere in the world. But there's a lot of reasons for it, and one of them is the oh. choice of ingredients and kind of the creativity with the ingredients. Yeah, how one thing can be used for like numerous right. dishes. Yeah. Even here, we have the kind of the graham flour mash, yeah. and then we have the shaved graham flour on top, yes. giving a texture. Yes. This is awesome. I got it, work, but it don't feel oh, it's the same kind of. You get it? It's he the didn't say how expensive it was. We reached mm -hmm. our next food location. What we are having is an aloo piaz kachori, onion potato sure. mixture that's ah. stuffed in corn flour. Right. Wow. So this has been stuffed already. Yes, with onion potato and a little bit of spices, mm. all of it mixed together, and it's onion deep fried. Potato. What's that? Ah, okay. He kind oh. of rips it apart oh. and then he puts on this yes. sweet chutney, green chutney, the shaved graham flour, onions, and cos more chilies. <laughs> oh, they still okay. had that. What's that? Graham flour. It's nice and crispy. It. It's heavy. And you're going to eat like a true Indian, so you're going to use your. Like a true Indian. <laughs> oh, that's a nice big bite. You've got yeah. some onions, coriander, yeah. all it on you top. You have to use bite. your hand, but you have your. Wow, that mint chutney right is so fresh. Just your oh, man, that is a heavy food. Yeah, it's really or something heavy. like that. It's a bit spicy. Got a little bit of crunch on the Indian outside, Indian but otherwise it's just, kind just of like a, a thick savory pudding one on man. the inside. I didn't know that. You can actually ah. customize this. So if you want it sweeter, you just add a bit more of the red chutney. And if you want it spicy, you more just green? add the green chutney. Well, or oh, okay. this. Or, or that. <laughs> <laughs> I keep seeing a lot of the same ingredients. Yeah. Brown flour, coriander, chili. This one and the one before are similar. Onions. The is magic. It soaked up a lot of that oil. It is so heavy. It's really heavy. But I love it. Just a few foods in and still not anywhere close to $100. Oh my God. And I are really going to have to step it up to make this happen. I don't know. They can. No. I'm so pumped right now. I'm just excited about the huge diversity of food here. Right now we have another one. What is this? This one's called Ragda Puri. Okay, have you had a Pani Puri before? I've had a Pani Puri. You take, you take, can I, they take a crisp such as this. They hollow out the top. Oh. Oh. They gently <laughs> hollow out the top and then they put in some like bean and uh, green water and things like that and you eat it. Absolutely. Now with ragda puri, what they do is that they take the same thing, they fill it up with ragda, which is made of family of chole, it's like a family of chickpeas. They put that and then you add okay. a little bit of moong, which is like a lentil. So he's going to mix them up right now? Yeah. He starts with the crisp, putting a hole See, into it. See, it's really so the type of yeah, so food yeah, that I really like because the there's a lot of vegetarian, legumi. Oh, and that goes inside of each yeah. one. Yeah, some of the green chutney, some red. So it's really up. It just keeps going. More salt, chaat masala, some oh, red chili powder, really and of course. Oh my same. lord! It never ends. That's coriander. Yeah, some peanuts. All right, that's brilliant. A lot of peanuts for you. Right. Food for you right here. I'm gonna use my hand. Today we are true <laughs> Indians. Yes, you don't use a spoon for this. Sir, we are true Indians today. We're true Indians. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> for sure. Of course. All right, I'm gonna grab from back here. Ready? In uh, one bite. <laughs> wow, so much flavor, so crispy. I it's think salty, if you don't crunch on the like outside, sushi, you have to do it. Yeah, it's fire, really or it's gonna. Really fast, okay. as you can see, it's already getting soggy. It is getting soggy. It's getting kind of wet oh, and moist okay. on the outside. You gotta be fast. Here we go. Yeah, because it's crunchy yeah. on the other side. Right. A tsunami of flavor. That is delicious. <laughs> and again, just kind of similar things that we've had all day today. But they all taste yeah. so different. In a different wrapping, different combo. Mm -hmm. So it gives you new sensations every time. That's right. I love it. <laughs> I'm 
I'm seeing similar themes in all the street food here. But here, it's all about this giant cracker. Is that the one we're getting? Yes, it's called a masala kichia. That sounds nice. I wow. want to name my daughter that. A masala kichia. <laughs> a masala kichia. You got a big day today. You got to go to school and explain your name to everybody. What is a cracker made of? It's made of corn and a little bit of rice, sabudana. Mm. And you want to add a little ghee as well. Ghee? Yeah. Oh, God, I love ghee. Yeah. Thank you for doing that. Mm. Yes, and then the smash. A tornado of onions and there's some tomato here with cucumber, cabbage, all diced up. Some spices and red chili powder. This they use a lot of uh, uncooked. Sweet chutney. Uh, oh, yeah. Shaved yeah. Yes. yes. And, and then we got coriander. Not my favorite. Yeah. Mm. Chana dal, chana dal. Here we have our Indian nachos. We're gonna grab the chips now, and honestly, when you look at this big layer of food, you can't tell where the chips are. You gotta kind of feel for it. Let's go. <laughs> Here there's too mm. many. There's a little cucumber, but it's not bad. I don't mind like a little mini hint of cucumber mixed with a lot of other stuff. I'm kind of surprised it's a bit like dry in Yeah, your mouth. it's a little dry. Mm. Mm. It's a great yummy snack. It's actually a bit lighter than some of the other stuff we had. If you're looking to not eat something so heavy, it's very nice. How much money have we spent so far, do you think? Less than two dollars. Are you three dollars? <laughs> <laughs> There's also a lot we of uh, coriander. A lot of coriander. Yeah. Um, snacks. It's literally Mumbai's biggest sandwich. Weighing in at one kilogram. Oh my God. <laughs> Five layers. Cheese, veggies, goat I really hope cheese, this is at least veggies, and three dollars. Five layers of bread. You think you can handle it? Wow. I think I can handle it. I also like how we accidentally did a vegetarian tour today. How did yeah, that happen? Because a lot of street food is vegetarian. That's fair. India yeah. is like the only place you can go to eat vegetarian all day and not even really realize it. I didn't eat any animals today. So Let's cool. meet the guy. Mm. Was this your idea? What? Why? Why have you done this? It is too flavorful. It's too cheesy. It's amazing. It's a lovely thing. You will love it. <laughs> people usually finish it. We are actually finding that person. It needs minimum three people to finish it. Whoa. That's a minimum three people. Well, today, I'm going to take it upon myself. <laughs> no, he can't do it. Right now, we're going to witness the creation of this sandwich, my man. A little bit of margarine, a little bit of green chutney, layer of tomato, then green pepper, okay. chaat masala. Oh, it's processed so cheese. cheese. And then a lot more of margarine, margarine. <laughs> more bread, more green. That's one layer. Wait, so what is this one that they're putting on? It's an in-house sauce. A what sauce? It's an in-house sauce. You look like a little kid trying to look at the sandwich being made. <laughs> <laughs> Even more cheese on top of that. Margarine on the bread, a little bit more green. And then that's it. I think that, oh, oh no. no. More no. margarine, more, more green, more <laughs> onion oh. now. Oh, that's goat's cheese, mm. I'm pretty sure. That's paneer. Tuffle, oh, tuffle. chaat masala. And then a little bit more cheese. No. This is the white kind. Oh, goat no, cheese. he's not done. More margarine <laughs> on the bread, more green Chut chutney. This is a whole new layer. We haven't seen this, have we? This looks like some <laughs> masala mix. Grating more cheese. Another piece of bread. Oh, that's mayo. Mayo? That looks like marshmallow. Oh, <laughs> more so cheese. Organo, really chili yeah. flakes. Oh, jeepers. What? This is all the <laughs> right here. They're going to put this monstrosity in some sort of oven and bake it. One kilogram of sandwich goodness. Stuck in the One kilogram. <laughs> that's huge. It's the so monstrosity, <laughs> the Hulk. Oh. No, it's less than one. What do you usually yeah. do in this situation? You put on. <laughs> that's okay. Listen, that's still not a small sandwich. Are you satisfied with the size? <laughs> Is that an awkward question? Or? <laughs> <laughs> okay, almost five dollars. Guys, we have the sandwich here. Oh, it's a big cut. Classic style reveal of even more layers inside. Well, let's try it out. Oh my God, that's just half sandwich. <laughs> Oh, yes. really? Crazy. I'm good. Oh, yeah. A little mushy, mashy inside. A little crunchy on the outside. The orange layer. I'm There's a ton of tomato right layer now. coming through. It's a bit spicy. It's cheesy. You can just feel all the layers of bread as you crunch through it. If you turn it upside down, you can really get that cheesy layer. That's what we want. Is that cheese? Oh, what is that? Mayonnaise. Mm. Oh. <laughs> that is like a creamy, fluffy mayo. This is really good. I'm pretty impressed. This is like good hangover food. Huh? Yeah. Take one more bite. Hi. <laughs> it's a big monstrosity. I did not expect to see this like, in Mumbai or in India, period. This was worth it, man. <laughs> but the city of sandwiches, which is what this is called, right? Mumbai is called she the city of sandwiches. She just put it on the plate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm worried. No. But they do like sandwiches. No, yeah, we do like us. In the city of sandwiches, this sandwich is the mayor. Is that right? Do you guys have a mayoral system? No. <laughs> oh my 
my God. It has been an amazing, long, fun-filled day of eating. When you add it all up, the food costs this much money. Did we get to $100? Uh, <laughs> I think we missed it by a lot. So what did we learn today? It is impossible to eat $100 worth of street okay, food in, okay. India in one day. Maybe in one year. Maybe in five <laughs> years. Indian street food is the perfect intersection of affordability wow. and yumness. Elevating simple ingredients to their highest potential with dynamic flavors and joyous textures. Natasha from Curly Tales, again, thank you so much for your company and all your knowledge about street food in Mumbai today. I want to check also the other video about him. Like mm -hmm. uh, he says yes. he did one in uh, Korea. Korea. Yeah, one uh, in Japan. Yeah. I, don't, I don't remember. I think it, it should be fairly easy to get to $100 in Japan in food because I... I don't know, because street food is never mm. that expensive, but a lot easier than India, for yeah, sure. Easier. <laughs> yeah, easier. Yeah, a lot easier. So it might, you might get mm. to 100 in Japan or South Korea. I think mm. so. I, I would be curious to, yeah. to see those mm -hmm. videos. But here it was like $7. <laughs> <So> it's like, <laughs> you need at least 10 people and more. To, I mean, they were two people actually. Yeah, I think you could eat seven. with one dollar, so you would need like a hundred people <laughs> to spend a yeah. hundred dollar in a day. Yeah, or maybe fifty people. I don't know. Yeah, and be really, really full. For sure, that's crazy. But it, and they look really good. Yeah. Like, um, I'm not the biggest fan of um, uh, legumi. How how do you say legumes? Legumes, legumes. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's probably not my favorite, but they actually look good. Mm -hmm. So and very very cheap. Yes, <laughs> so that's all we good. Um, <laughs> that food was very different from the food we eat here at the uh, Indian restaurants. I never see uh, that food uh, here in Italy. Yeah, also you have to think that that was only Mumbai food, I think. It was like very traditional uh, Mumbai food, I think. And I have to say that it's definitely not the most popular that you would see in Indian restaurant, at least mm -hmm. yeah. from my experience. Yes. So, yeah, but it was really, to me, it's really the type of food that I love the most, like gumi, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of vegetarian stuff, spices, I love spicy food, so Indian is yeah. one of my favorite uh, ethnical food that I, that I like to have when I go out to eat. Um, so it was cool, I would really enjoy a trip to India just to eat the food. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you have to pay the the plane, but then when you're when you're there, <laughs> you don't spend that much. Food is not gonna be a problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, Very cool. Thank you guys for watching us. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and follow us on Instagram. And see you next time. Ciao. Ciao. Ciao.